Hi everyone and welcome back to my last day of 21 day fitness challenge. Well done everyone that has been training with me since day one. Massive thanks for supporting me. And for the last workout today, I've got another Pilates flow for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell as I have so much more to share with you. And get this all ready and I'll see you in the mat. We will begin with the feet, knees and hips in line. With the back nice and straight, the shoulders relaxed. And now on the inhale, you elevate your chest. And on the exhale, just round the spine. And lower into a C curve position. Hold this position for a second or two. And on the inhale, you lift the chest all the way back up. And repeat, so you go breathe out. And then all the way back. I will do just another four repetitions. And last three. Four, two. And just one more inhale. And one more exhale. Okay, now just lift your chest up and just move your body forward slightly. Okay, so cross your legs over, interlace your hands and place them behind your head. So we'll do rotations now. So your back is nice and straight, your elbows are open, shoulders relaxed. Then you now take a deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale you twist. So feel that upper back stretching. So one side is stretching, the other one is strengthening. You then inhale back to the middle and on the exhale you round your spine and just roll all the way forwards over your legs like this. You can, if you reach the floor, you can put the elbows on the floor. And now take deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale you slowly vertebra at the time lift your chest all the way back up. I will repeat the same thing on the same side. So twist. Gently move the head back, then back to the middle. Then again on the exhale, round your spine and slowly vertebra by vertebra roll all the way down place your elbows on the floor and just relax inhale and on the exhale you slowly lift the chest all the way back up and two more on this side so twist that's it and inhale and exhale all the way towards the floor And inhale and exhale all the way back up. And then twist and center. And then round. And then all the way back up. Nice and slowly in your own time. Okay, once you complete the, the, last, the last exercise, then just change the legs over. Interlace your hands and I will do the same thing on the other side. So we lift the chest up, inhale, and on the exhale we twist. And we inhale back to the middle and exhale around the spine. Now we just go nice and low. And inhale and exhale all the way back up. And last three. So twist. So then you reach the floor, you don't reach the floor with the elbows, doesn't matter, you can always either place your hands on the floor, or hands on your knees, and then go down from here. And again, back up. And last two. And exhale. And just one more, so inhale, exhale, twist, and back, and round, 
and then all the way down and again inhale and then exhale slowly lift all the way back up and now just move the body forward so sitting on the edge of your mat have the hands right behind your knees and we're gonna roll down so we'll do an exercise called rock is a bow so inhale lift your chest up and on the exhale you round your spine you can already start lifting your feet off the floor and just roll all the way down the head comes down on the floor Be like stay in tabletop position so your lower back is in imprint you now inhale through the nose and on the exhale lift your head up engage your abdominals keep your legs in tabletop position gently push your knees onto your hands and then slowly lift all the way back up and inhale lift the chest back up and on the exhale again so feet and knees together and then slowly vertebra by vertebra roll all the way down so really Focusing on that spine articulation. Always keep for about fist space in between your chin and your chest and slowly lift all the way back up. There we go. So massaging it back. It's a great exercise to improve the mobility of your spine, but also improve the core strength. And your shoulders are strengthening as well. Inhale and exhale. This exercise feels a little bit too advanced. You can always do just a roll down wall, like roll up like this. Do a few repetitions like this. Or inhale and exhale. Or you just do a C curve like this. And back down. I will do one more. Inhale. And exhale back up. And just roll all the way down now. So have the knees in tabletop position to begin with. And then you actually pull those knees towards your chest. And just rock your hips side to side. So on one side to the other side. Massaging the lower back. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Another four. And three. For two. And last one. And now place your left foot on the floor. And straighten the left leg away from your body. Okay, now you interlace your hands and pull the right knee towards your chest. And just get comfortable with the position and exercise. So if you need to move your hips, the side a little bit or just adjust your shoulders you can always do so okay so you now inhale to the back and on the exhale you pull the knee towards your chest the toes of your left foot are reaching away from your body you're really feeling the hip flexor of the left side stretching and the glutes and the hamstrings of your right hand side stretching. And then relax for a second, inhale. And on the exhale, pull that knee towards your chest. And inhale. And exhale. And last three. For two. And just one more. And relax. Okay. Now we have your left knee on the inside of your knee, left hand on the inside of your knee, and your right hand on the outer side of your ankle. If you can't reach the ankle and then straighten the leg at the same time, you can always hold either for the thigh or calf. So I'll have my hand on my ankle. So inhale you with that. And on the exhale, you just simply straighten the leg up towards the ceiling. Point your toes to begin with, and then if you can, flex the foot. So we're gonna feel your hamstring stretching here. And on the inhale, you bend again. And again, on the exhale, you straighten, flex your foot. Your shoulders stay relaxed, away, nice and tight stretch. Your tailbone is on the floor, try not to leave the bum off the floor. 
we have another four repetitions. And last three. For two. And just last repetition, straighten the leg and hold it still. For count to four. And three. And two. And last one, point to toes, bend the knee. You, again, interlace your hands, pull the knee towards your chest. This is your inhale. And on the exhale, place your left hand on the outer side of the knee. Your right hand is relaxed by your side. And just squeeze the chest to one side. And keep squeezing the And hold it still. And hold it for a couple of seconds. The inhale. And exhale, lift the knee back up and repeat. So the inhale, pull the knee towards your chest. And on the exhale, we pull the knee across the body. Not like the shoulders from side to And last two. So pull and press. And just one more, inhale. And one more, exhale. And hold. Four, three, two, and last one, inhale and exhale. Leave the knee back up. Now place your right foot on the floor and just bend both knees. You just have both knees back and just move your hips back and forth, just moving the pelvis from that anterior pelvic tilt to the posterior pelvic tilt, just resetting the back a bit. And we have another four repetitions. And last three. Four, two. And just one more, and exhale. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna straighten the right leg. And again, we inhale and we pull the left knee towards the chest. And then we'll relax. And again, if you need to adjust your body, you can always do so. So inhale, exhale, pull, and relax. And again, pull. And last two. And just one more. And again, place your right hand on the knee and the other hand comes on your lower part of your leg. So again, inhale, bend the knee. And exhale, straighten. Flex the feet. Reach as high as you can. And breathe out. And last three. So two. And just last one, bend. And one more straight. And then again, fold. So another four. And three. So two. And last one, just bend. And again, on the inhale, you pull the knee towards your chest. On the exhale, your right hand comes on the outer side of the knee. And just simply treat the chest to one side and your hips to the other side. And return back to the center. And you inhale. And again, exhale, pull. And two more.
uh, just one more inhale and one more exhale and again just hold for a count of four and three for two and last one and inhale and exhale bring the body back to neutral put your left foot on the floor put your right foot on the floor and you can just readjust your back and get more the hips back and forth so inhale and exhale and last four and three with two and just one more inhale and one more exhale great job everyone i just look at my watch and i realized that that was a little bit more than 12 minutes um i hope you enjoyed this well done everyone that completed the whole 21 day challenge i've got another challenge coming for you in january so make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out so have a nice christmas holidays and i'll see you next time